Hi, welcome to Media Beat, Media Bistro's video interview show. I'm Jason Bogue, the editor of Media Bistro's publishing blog, Galley Cat, and your host today. I'm joined by Garrett Camp, the CEO of StumbleUpon, one of my favorite social networks. I've been a member for a long time. Glad to have you here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. First of all, I mean, I've been on the site for a while, but why don't you tell our readers who aren't familiar with StumbleUpon a little mm -hmm. bit about the story behind StumbleUpon. So StumbleUpon is a discovery engine. Uh, we started in late 2001, actually in Canada. That's where I went to grad school. And uh, moved the site down to uh, San Francisco in kind of early 2006. And basically StumbleUpon is like a, a way to find cool stuff on the internet. So you click a button, every time you click a button, you're going to be presented with a new page. If you like the page, you give it a thumb up. If you don't, you give it a thumb down. And every time you click the button, it's going to get better and better. So it basically learns what you like on the web, shows you stuff from friends, like-minded people, that's interesting on the web that you wouldn't have thought to search for. Okay. So how big exactly is this network of mm -hmm. stumblers and people wandering around? I don't think many people realize how big you guys it's are. It's so just under 15 million uh, registered users doing about 800, 850 million stumbles per month. So in terms of traffic, we are refer almost as much traffic as Facebook, uh, which means kind of if you think about the number of people that click on a link, an external link in a Facebook feed, uh, and the number of people clicking stumble on is about the same in North America. Wow. So if I'm, uh, say, we, we have a lot of magazine writers in the audience, so mm -hmm. if one of a magazine article ends up picked up by a stumbler, what happens to that content if it ends up being popular in mm -hmm. your network? So basically when we f first comes in, it kind of goes out to some of your friends, some like-minded people, and if it gets enough thumbs up, it will then spread to their friends, spread to their like-minded you know, kind of network. And if it becomes really hot, it'll almost become like a trending, almost a little bit like you have on Twitter. Got you. And for the users out there who aren't members of StumbleUpon yet that mm -hmm. say, oh, I have, I have my LinkedIn account, I have my Facebook account, I have my Friendster account that I don't use anymore. Mm -hmm. what, what do you say to these people who are like, I don't really need any more recommendations or social mm -hmm. network traffic in my life? What, what can StumbleUpon offer? Well, I don't think we're not really a social network. I mean, we're a discovery engine. We're a way to find cool stuff on the web. I mean, occasionally you can do that on, on Facebook, but on Facebook it's really oriented around your friends' photos, you know, what your friends are doing, what they're up to. And on Twitter, it's a little more news-centric. StumbleUpon is much more general. So it's really just an alternative way to discover content. And I think that for a lot of audiovisual content, a lot of kind of very rich visual content, it's actually the most efficient way. So you already have a pretty strong base. What, what mm -hmm. sort of growth are you guys expecting in the future for this site? Um, I'm not sure exactly what the growth will be, but I think we're pretty big. Um, the fastest growing area right now is actually mobile. Just six months ago, we actually released our first mobile apps. So now you can stumble on the iPhone, uh, Android, iPad. That's actually our fastest growing product right now. And we think that that may actually end up being one of our biggest interfaces. So I think a lot of the growth in the future will come from mobile devices. Wow. And so what is the experience any different on a mobile device? What do you think mobile users are looking for when they're coming to stumble upon? Um, I think the reason mobile is really successful is that it just takes more work to type on mobile. So like searching is more difficult. You know, I think the one click just kind of sit there in your hand and you're waiting for a friend at dinner and they're five minutes late and you can just kind of you know, flip, it's actually a little more fun to look at content on StumbleUpon than, you know, some of the alternatives. So I think that's why it's kind of so interesting is that a lot of times when you're at your computer, you're very busy, you've got 50 things to do, and StumbleUpon's one of them, where when you're on your phone, it's like, yeah, you'll check in on Foursquare and you'll look at a few tweets, but after that, you're like, I want to see some cool stuff, and StumbleUpon's one of the ways you can do that. Cool. Once again, this is uh, Media Beat, Media Bistro's video interview show. I'm here with Garrett Camp, the CEO mm -hmm. of StumbleUpon. Thanks so much for stopping by today. We'll yep. be back uh, for the next installment where we're going to talk about the media side of things, what media producers can do to get involved in your site. Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks.